Hey guys, Stephanie here with Mahalo.com. Okay, we are talking about infertility. Now, let's say you've been diagnosed with a problem. Now it's time to get some treatment. And joining us now is Dr. John Jay to talk about what those steps are. Let's first start with male infertility. Sure. Um, we can do a lot for guys these days, much more than we can do for women. Um, for example, some of the medical therapies for men, and again, these are based on the actual problem can include hormonal treatments, for example, to help bolster uh, the testosterone in the testicle, which is, a very, is very important for sperm production. Um, per perhaps the most commonly used therapy, though, is artificial insemination, what's called intrauterine insemination. Uh, in, this, in this procedure, we wash the sperm and then extract millions of the most viable and robust sperm and transfer them to the woman's uterus right next to the fallopian tubes. Um, and in contrast to natural intercourse, where only a few hundred sperm reach the fallopian tube, here millions of sperm reach the fallopian tube. For men with more severe sperm problems, we can actually take just one sperm and inject it right into an egg. That's called ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So all we need is a handful of sperm to actually help things along. What about um, men, you know, you always hear the term, you know, they've got slow swimmers, um, problems like that. Uh, what, what can you do for the male to help those sperm along? Well, again, the, in, in the process of washing the sperm and picking out the best sperm, we're actually looking for the most viable best swimmers. And for ICSI, it doesn't matter. In fact, when, when we pick a sperm for ICSI, the injection of the sperm into the egg process, we have to look under the microscope and break the sperm's tail so we can catch it. And then we put it right into the egg. Um, there's also some surgical remedies for men. For example, reversing vasectomies, very effective. Um, there's a condition called varicocele where the veins of the scrotum could uh, dilate and pool blood. And that blood transmits heat to the testicle. And sperm have, have to have a very specific temperature uh, to be produced. So that can also affect uh, male fertility. So you can go in and and ligate those, those uh, blood vessels. And finally, we can actually go in and get sperm out of the testicle or the area of the testicle that stores sperm, even in men who've had vasectomies, so they don't have to reverse their vasectomies. That is truly amazing. Science has come a long way. So science can help the guys out, and um, they can be on their way to parenthood. Yeah, and next is women. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Dr. Jane. And if you would like more information about any of these topics about fertility, you can click on any of the links here to my left, or you can subscribe to Mahalo Parenting. I'm Stephanie Stanton. Thanks so much for watching.